In this video, we're learning about cancer. So to start with, what is cancer? Well, cancer is a disease caused when abnormal cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. Before we consider cancer any further though, we need to take a look at tumors. A key thing to understand here is that these terms don't mean the same thing. So let's see what tumors are and the different types that can exist. A tumor is an abnormal mass of cells that forms when a group of cells undergo uncontrolled growth and division. Importantly though, there are two different types of tumors, benign tumors and malignant tumors. And it's only the malignant ones that are considered to be cancer. In a benign tumor, the abnormal group of cells are contained within one area, usually within a membrane. Because they stay in that one place, they're not normally dangerous, so we don't call them cancer. However, in a malignant tumor, the abnormal cells are not contained by the membrane. Instead, the cells can enter the bloodstream and then travel to different parts of the body. They are then able to invade other tissues and form secondary tumors. This process causes lots of damage to our body, making malignant tumors far more dangerous and potentially fatal, which is why we classify them as cancer. So now that we know what cancer and tumors are, let's consider the risk factors in our lifestyle that increase the chance of us developing cancer. One strong link that you probably already know about is between smoking and lung cancer. But smoking has also been linked to a range of other cancers too, like mouth cancer, stomach and cervical cancer. Obesity has also been linked to multiple cancers, including bowel cancer, liver cancer, and kidney cancer. Meanwhile, ultraviolet light exposure, which we get from both the sun and from sunbeds, is strongly linked to skin cancer, because the UV radiation can damage our skin cells. Just like obesity, drinking alcohol is also linked to an increased risk of liver cancer. Risk factors aren't always lifestyle choices that we can control though, as they can also be associated with genetics. Sometimes it's the genes we inherit from our parents that make us more susceptible to certain cancers. For example, the BRCA or BRCA genes are linked to developing breast and ovarian cancer. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.